Hello everyone, in this video we are just going to interface simplest form of analog sensor that is the variable resistor or potentiometer with our node MCU. Let's get started. So till the previous lecture we just learned how we can interface output devices like LED and input devices like buttons to this node MCU. So these two devices are digital devices and if you take a digital device we will be having only two states. One is the low state and other one is the high state. So 0 and 1 will be the two states of digital device and if you take an analog device or if you are interfacing an analog device to this analog channel of node MCU so we are having only one analog channel right that we discussed in the first lecture of features of node MCU and that analog channel is this A0 pin right over here so you can interface an analog sensor to this analog channel of node MCU so this analog channel A0 in node MCU is useful for fetching and reading the DC voltage signals directly so the peripheral that we are using for interfacing analog sensors is ADC that is internally available in the node MCU. So this ADC is nothing but analog to digital converter. So this converter helps to convert the voltage signal that we fetch from the sensor or from any other device to a digital format. And since our device maximum operating voltage is a 3.3 volt. So the maximum DC voltage that you can read using this analog zero pin of node MCU is 3.3 volt and we cannot directly read the voltage values using this ADC instead it will provide us a equivalent step value using which you can calculate the voltage signals that is given to this analog pin. So that step value is based on the resolution of the ADC. So the ADC available in our node MCU is of 10 bit resolution. So the step value of this 10 bit resolution ADC will be from 0 to 2 to the power 10 that is 1024. So we will be having totally 1024 values that is starting from 0 to 1023. So this will be the step value that we will be receiving from the ADC module of the node MCU. So whenever a voltage signal is given to the A0 pin of the node MCU that voltage signal will be converted into equivalent step value as per the resolution of this ADC and it will be between 0 to 1023 and it will be given to us and we can process that step value for finding out the voltage signal that has been given to the A0 pin. So this is the formula for finding the voltage signal that is given in the analog pin of node MCU maximum voltage divided by 1023 into step value. So maximum voltage is 3.3 volt as I said and the 1023 is nothing but the maximum step value for 10 bit ADC. So 1023 into step value. So if you process this equation we will get 0 0.003225 into step value. So let's assume that for a maximum value of 1023 we will be having and receiving a 3.3 volt signal over here right so let's calculate that i am opening the calculator and i am multiplying 0 0.003225 into 1023 you can see we are getting 3.299 volts which is nothing but more or less 3.3 volts and let's derive this for a 50 percent value so 3.3 volt divided by 2 is nothing but 1.65 volt and let's consider that the step value is 512 which is the 50 percentage of the 10 bit value 1024 so if the step value is 512 i should get a 1.65 volt signal right so i'm just multiplying that by 0.0023225 you can see i'm getting a accurately 1.65 volt so using this formula you can find out the voltage given in the analog pin and if it is necessary you can do it or you can directly process the data with the help of this step value that we are receiving from the ADC peripheral of the node MCU. So remember that 
this adc is nothing but analog to digital converter and the maximum voltage that you can give over here in dc is 3.3 volt signal to the a0 and it is having a 10 bit resolution that adc module is having a 10 bit resolution so it will be giving us a step value from 0 to 1023 and you can calculate the voltage given to the analog pin with the help of this step value that we receive from the adc peripheral and now let us discuss about the working principle of a simplest analog sensor that is the variable resistor and then we will see how we can interface this variable resistor to the analog pin of node mcu and then we will discuss about how we can receive the step value from this variable resistor so whatever the analog sensor let's take we are having a variety of n number of analog sensors available and all the analog sensors can be directly interfaced using the same format that we are going to do right now and the simplest form of analog sensor is this variable resistor and we are having n number of sensors like lm35 temperature sensor adxl335 accelerometer sensor joystick module and pressure sensors etc all the sensors will be operating in the same manner and using the code that we are going to build you can interface any sensors in the same format and let's try to understand how this variable resistor is functioning so this is the variable resistor it will be having three terminals this is the first terminal second terminal this is the middle terminal so the first terminal is connected to 3.3 volt second terminal is connected to ground and the middle terminal is connected to voltmeter and this is the terminal where we will be connecting the a0 pin of node mcu that is the middle terminal this variable resistor as the name says this is nothing but a resistor whose resistance value can be varied by rotating the knob available in the variable resistor so by rotating the knob in clockwise direction or anti-clockwise direction you can increase and decrease the resistance value of this variable resistor so if it is a 10k variable resistor this resistance can be varied from 0 to 10 kilo ohms so this is the concept of variable resistor let's try to understand this by simulation now you can see we are having zero volt signal at the node mcu pin or in the middle terminal of variable resistor since the knob of this variable resistor that is the middle terminal is available to the extreme end of ground we are having a zero volt signal and if i try to increase this knob or move the knob towards the other end you can see there is a increase in voltage in the middle terminal and if I place the knob in exactly 50 percentage, you can see we will be having a 50 percentage voltage that is available over here. 50 percentage of the voltage that is available over here. We will be having an voltage of 50 percentage of the voltage that is provided over here. So 3.3. So 50 percentage of 3.3 is 1.65 that is showing you right over here. And if I further increase the knob. And if I bring the knob towards the extreme power end, that is towards the 3.3 volt signal, you can see we are receiving a full voltage of 3.3 volt, which is being provided over here. So, this is the working principle. So, by rotating the knob physically available in the variable resistor, we can change the voltage value that is given to the analog channel of node MCU. So we will be connecting the A0 pin of node MCU to the middle terminal of the variable resistor and one end of the variable resistor will be connected to 3.3 volt and other end of the variable resistor will be connected to ground of the node MCU. So that's all about the circuit connections. Let's try to write a program for fetching the analog step value from the A0 pin of node MCU that is from this variable resistor. So regarding the void setup. So we are just going to use the serial monitor for viewing the step value that we are receiving. So as I taught you in the beginning lecture, I am just going to configure and start the serial monitor at a 1,15,200 baud rate. And nextly, I am just going to declare a variable called step value. And using the step value inside the infinite loop of the program, I am just going to read the analog channel 0. 
so here you can see this analog read function will return the step value that is fetched from the a0 pin of the node mcu so it receives one parameter which is nothing but the pin number from which you just want to read the step value so i am just passing the a0 here so the step value that we fetch from the a0 which will be between 0 to 1023 will be given to this variable step value and suddenly after that after receiving i will be just printing that step value to the serial monitor and before that i am just going to serial dot print pot value so i will be printing a pot value string and following that i will print the step value that i receive over here so these three lines will be continuously executed and the step value that we fetch from the analog pin 0 of node mcu that is from the variable register will be continuously printed on the serial monitor until the node mcu is stopped so i am just giving a small delay of 200 milliseconds so i am just going to connect the node mcu to the usb port of the pc and i am going to download the program to the node mcu with the help of this icon now let's try to connect the analog sensor now let's try to connect the analog sensor that is potentiometer or variable resistor to our node mcu so this is a 10 kilo ohms variable resistor that we are going to use as an analog sensor to this node mcu so you can see it has three terminals i have already connected it to breadboard this is the middle terminal and this one is the left right terminal and this one is the left terminal so this line over here is connected to the left terminal and this one is connected to middle terminal and this one is connected to rightmost terminal so we are just going to use these three rails for connecting the variable resistor so regarding the left terminal that is available in the extreme left i am just going to connect this left terminal of the variable resistor to the 3.3 volt of node mcu so you can see here i am having a 3.3 volt pin i am just connecting that to leftmost terminal of variable resistor and regarding the center terminal of the variable resistor which is the analog output pin of the variable resistor i am just going to connect it to a0 of the node mcu so here you can see this is the a0 i am just connecting that over here and then regarding the left out terminal of the variable resistor the rightmost extreme terminal i am just going to connect it to ground of the node mcu so here you can see this is the ground of node mcu i am just connecting it to ground and that's all about the circuit connections now i am just powering up my node mcu with the help of usb cable from the usb port of the pc now you can see i am just opening the serial monitor by clicking on this icon over here now you can see i am having the minimum port value that is around 10 to 12 because my knob of the potentiometer is at the extreme ground end that is why i am receiving the minimum step value and when i try to rotate the knob towards the other end you can see my port value increases that is the step value increases and when i reach the extreme other end I will get the maximum step value 1023 which is the maximum step value as I said this is the maximum 10 bit value and when I reduce the step value it reduces so this is the output that I got in the hardware So in this manner you can interface any analog type sensors which is giving analog voltage as outputs to the 
A0 channel of node MCU. See you in the next lecture. Thanks for watching.